What's up guys, it's your boy Ruin. We are back for another Yeast 9 video. So last time we got more information on the doll's past memories that were flashing through her mind when Aprilis got killed by Shadowlord, right? When he stabbed her right in her chest and just eradicated her into the into her grave. RIP Aprilis, by the way. God rest her soul. Now, based off her information that she gave us in that flashback, my guess right now is that Aprilis is actually Saint Rosvita. But I don't understand how that would make sense because how is she still alive? But uh, that's my guess. It could have been maybe the curse's powers what kept her alive. Kind of similar to how Jules is being kept alive by the curse. I don't know. And then, uh. And then there's that dad. Who the heck is um, uh, the person that Anna Mona calls dad? The one that actually gave her life. That guy with the shady eyes. I do not trust that man. So right now, we're about to look into the un unjustful arrest of Felix and Carla. So right now, we are in front of the. Um, the um, Coliseum and we ran into Ingrid. So let's see what she wants here. I thought she left to go get reinforcements. Is this still the same day? Is this all in one day? Since we went to the cultural heritage site? Yo, she looks so out of it. She hey, she met she met prisoner Ada and now she's in front of Crimson King. Will you look at that folks? She's wanted by the Hieroglyph Knights. Cause she's... Cause she's Roman. She's from the Empire, that's probably why. She's into a life of crime. Totally. Exactly, that's the whole point. You're doing your very best in the name of the Roman Empire. That's the issue. You have a plan to what? Yo, they are after her. Like white on rice, man. Yo, she looks so done. Did you see the look on her face? She looks defeated, man. Yeah, he was taken to prison. Unbelievable. Yeah, why? I don't understand. You have got to be kidding me. You're actually joking? He was taken in on suspicion of endangering spectators with his reckless bull handling. What a load of garbage nonsense, man. What a load of nonsense. Nah, the knights are up to no good, man. They claim they want to bring power back to Glia, but there's some other reason going on here. Alright, Credo. Credo, it's time. It's time to cut up their- it's time to cut up their- um, what do they call it again? Chapter houses? Let's do it, I'm ready. I- I'll make a few upgrades and let's just- let's just get straight into this thing. I'm- I'm sick and tired of beating around the bush. There's some kind of common link with your sister getting hauled in, pussycat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so dead. I'm that's hilarious. This is why I do credo I'm not gonna lie now after playing through this game if credo wasn't a character in this game I don't think I would have finished this I think I would have stopped halfway because he makes this game. He is so good I absolutely love his character man. I absolutely love this guy's character Why are you getting jealous you thought I thought you said so many times that he's just your best friend why are you getting jealous? Perhaps you were just not being honest with your feelings? Mm. Oh, there it is. It slipped out. It slipped out. Good job, Cardo. My man. Let's, let's, let's go. We got it out of here. Easy. All you, gotta, all you had to do was bring up Carla. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I miss something? They're not exactly comparable. I mean, he is compassionate, I guess, and surprisingly kind, smart, and- Wait, Gah, just what you're trying to make me say here? What do you, what does he mean, drop dead? I don't understand. What does- what, I'm so confused. What is he responding to? Okay, that threw me off. Okay. What? Nani? Nani? Why is there Roman soldiers? Oh, okay, that's why there's Roman soldiers. Oh, 
All right, so now we're at the Pendleton Company. Let's find out why Carla got to change from here. I feel like it has something to do with this guy, for sure. Oh, Mr. Rich. Damn. It's like that? I mean, I'm not a fan of Krishna. Like, I don't really like her character almost whatsoever. But uh, that's kind of harsh, buddy. It's a little bit harsh. Why did you even freaking adopt her if you're going to act like this? What the hell? Pendleton is no place for the likes of a dingy florist. Wow. Wow. <laughs> He's so messed up, dude. He's he's effed up, man. He's that's ridiculous. There you go. Let her do it by her own for once. Father, you're right. I did leave Pendleton, but I'm still a part of this family. Finally, start to speak up for yourself. Jeez. I've been waiting for this, like, all game. I'll never forget everything that you and Carla have done for me. So please... The time for remission has long passed. It was your decision to leave. Once you've made a decision, you must commit to it and accept its consequences. I mean, yes, but the way he's going about it is completely wrong. He's not going about it the right way. If I was him, I would at least let her bring Carla back. Right? Like, at least let her, like, give her some information to bring Carla back. Whether you bring, him, bring her back to the company or not, I don't think it's that much of a big deal. I understand. Then I have a proposal. Oh, she's trying to make a deal? As the owner of Le Petit Fleuriste, I propose a business arrangement. Whoa, what? Okay, I did not see that coming. Interesting. What did you say? Very interesting. What a great idea. We at Le Petit Fleuriste offer to provide investigative services to Pendleton. We will confirm the safety and whereabouts of Carla Pendleton, your chief of sales. Hey, I was on the right track. I told y'all. This is literally like, let us investigate Carla and it is fine. As compensation, we seek the white sarin flowers that bloom across Altago. Hey, okay. All right. Krishna has finally shown some character development after about seven chapters. Round of applause. Round of applause, folks. She has finally leveled up. Finally. She was the first mushroom that was introduced and she finally grew a little bit. Wow. We understand you have these seeds in stock and ask that you give us a courtesy discount. We will also require you to provide any and all information relevant to the investigation. Do you have any idea what you're suggesting? How can I partner with a flower shop from the slums with no reputable achievements? A man with your merit and experience should be able to tell if we are trustworthy. Yo, okay. All right. What? Throwing the shots. Let's get it. Under the conditions I propose, Pendleton would incur no liabilities. Like you said, our shop is still small. That is why we offer to shoulder the risk. Interesting. As someone once told me, gains are made by taking losses. Okay. We'll be up against the higher All right. Mates, who are on the brink of war against the Empire. It's fine. We've been in, we've been battling this entire time. What can a lone flower shop do? We won't saddle you with the details. I know Pendleton is busy enough as it is. She's finally talking back, y'all. Finally. But I can guarantee that the results will be satisfactory. Yeah, because I'm the one that's in the controlling seat. No, I'm the I'm riding this ship. Of course, we're going to be fine. Miss Krisha. There's going to be a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. There's going to be blood, Damn sweat, and Krisha. tears. But at the end of the day, we'll make it through it. You know what I'm saying? We get results done. Krisha. Why is it only now that you're able to do this? Because it's called growth, guy. Maybe you should... 
Look it up. I had a lot to learn from opening a shop of my own. At first, I was afraid to even decide on order quantities without you and Carla. I couldn't really blink out on what I was going to flame him with. That's why I kind of went with that lame little thing right there. But if I wanted to keep my shop open, I knew I had to make decisions on my own. I couldn't run away like I used to, even from things I wasn't good at. It was just common sense thinking back. I'm embarrassed it took me so long to learn. It's okay. Hmm. Everyone grows at their own so pace. It was I who stifled your growth. Right, everyone grows at their own pace. You know what I'm saying? That's not true at all. Without you and Carla, As long as you get to the destination, that's all that matters. How, how long it takes isn't that big a deal. Right? If you, if, you, if you gotta go slow and steady, go slow and steady. Don't rush it. I would have never learned the things I needed to get to this point. I could have never done this on my own. That's why I have to save Carla. Yeah, let's do it. There you go. All right, I like a character a little bit more now. She's still by far my, my least favorite art of the monster, but still. I filed a complaint with the Roman garrison for what happened to Carla. That's not gonna do nothing. The warden Belger wasn't there, so it was a fruitless endeavor. Yep. Huh? Was any and all information relevant to the investigation not one of your conditions? Father! Alas, the garrison didn't have any information, but for whatever reason, the knights did. For whatever reason, obviously they have it. According to them, Carlo was detained on suspicion of colluding with the Monstrums. What? Really? They're talking about adults. They're talking about the Crimson King. How did they get? Does that mean? How did they? How did they put that connection together? Did they see us? Charges alone aren't enough to incite suspicion. For all we know, they could be true. I'm sure Carla's reasons would have been justified. Yeah, because you're staring at a monster right in front of your face, buddy. It was the fact that they had the gall to arrest someone from Pendleton without consulting me. Considering my relationship with them, it is a most unwarranted and concerning act. Not even worried about your daughter? It's it's about, like, how, how can they, like, unbelievable. <laughs> They're not even bothering with keeping up appearances anymore. Yep. Or maybe they don't need to. That too, because remember, Warden Belk is not here, so the garrison don't have any authority whatsoever. What are they going to do? Nothing. We saw what happened with Shadow Lord and Aprilis. If we can, if we can that easily take down Aprilis, like, are you kidding me? My personnel in the mines report that the knights often meet in the prison's restricted sector. Rumors are circulating that the knights are holding their newly captured prisoners there. What? The restricted sector. Maybe Carla's there too. Were those dinos were, were um, kept in? Why dinos? I mean, primordials, obviously. That's all the information I have about Carla at the moment. Mr. Pendleton. Interesting. I'll send word if I get any more information. Uh, and, uh, be careful. Okay. I will. He's not as bad as I thought. He is not a Duke Alberia. That's a W right there. Uh, uh, one last thing about your shop. Its location lacks visibility and is disadvantageous to your exposure. Even small changes can bring about vast improvements to your business's image. He's giving her advice? Remember what I've taught you. Hey, he gave her advice. Uh, okay. Thank you, Father. Good job, man. Way to redeem yourself. Way to redeem yourself. Okay, so let's see. So we couldn't leave Balduk City, and I have a Grimwell Knox available. So let's see what we're about to do after this. One argument could be they're trying to keep them safe, but I think there's something else going on here. Exactly. What could they be waiting for? Maybe the arrival of the, um, Carnal Lindheim? Yeah, he hasn't been going at all. He's just been with us. A deep hatred, huh? 
Exactly. He always seems collected. Okay. A massive battle erupted on the outskirts. The 4th Battalion, commanded by General Borden of the Royal Family, suffered defeats. The general retreated from the battlefield into the safety of Balduk walls. The army, the R Roman army with the victory in sight pursued him without mercy. That was the battle which resulted in Yufa's parents passing? What? That's... That's what Shadowlord meant when he was talking to the cow before. About you must under you'll understand like don't you feel the same way or something like that I'm paraphrasing but he addressed it the cow specifically that's why the battle that took that guy down he must have Shellard must have had like a friendship with them so that got him he that, that pissed him off made him want revenge and then she was he was saying the same thing for you for like you should be wanting this too because you have your parents makes sense bro guys makes all perfect sense Baduk was besieged by a Roman general known as Roaring Leo. Okay, we're getting a flashback. Okay. Okay, they ambushed. Okay, I'm bits of movement. Basic war strategy. Right, basic war strategy. Wait, so why does he want why does he want revenge against the Roman Empire then? It's his own freaking the about the Gileans. Maybe he wants revenge against both of them. All of his trusted comrades were annihilated. So how, wait. It's the truth that's been kept hidden, but how does Parks know all of this information? Shortly after, Shadowlord was baptized and founded the Hieroglyph Knights in Glia. You are not about to tell me that is a coincidence right there. That directly after the events of this, that he, he became a Hieroglyph Knight. And he's, I mean, right after the events of that, he got baptized and established uh, head, headquarters of the Hieroglyph Knights in here. No, 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 it's not a coincidence. Ain't no way. That's part of his plotting. We cut him down. That's what it's going to be. Let's put a stop to Shadowlord's plans. We're going to cut him down. All right, I'm ready. I'm totally not ready, but you know, y'all y'all get the energy. Y'all get the vibe. Can we just use his gift? An old aqueduct. The restricted sector, an old aqueduct. Oh, that's right. Seal Canyon. And will you look at that? I believe the Grimwald Knox I have will open this area up. It's just northeast of the city. Yeah, I think it will open that up. If I go into the Knox. Okay, 
There's more quests. New quests are available. Let's start. Let's start banging out some of these quests. And what? Why is there a? Why is there a smiley face with a heart? Yeah. <laughs> you can say that again. So don't you go dying on. Which me, one, buddy? Right? Which one? You got two of them. You got to choose. Let's get through this in one piece, Adam. Unless they're gonna perform a fusion and become one being. I don't understand what's gonna happen with that. Unless you're about to tell me everything we've done so far has been a dream. And none of these mushrooms actually exist. And Apollos doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a Shadow Lord, you know what I'm saying? Interesting. So if I have these um, smiley faces with the heart, that means their affinity is maxed out. I never knew that. Because I never bothered with that stuff when I played the Yeast 8. Because I have literally beat that game in like 5 days. Like I just grinded through it. Look at our group. We've got all monstrums and a black market dealer. Talk about a shady moving group, man. Okay, private sector. Yeah, it's this guard, the guy that's been giving the prison idol all those quests and been working with the, the Maxim. It's Arthur the the Arthur the Owl really? His name is Arthur. Are you kidding me? Without his favorite stooge. <laughs> hey, this is the same place we ran into the Prime Mojos. Oh my goodness! Please no. Please no. He's already planned for this? Yes, why would we have gone? We why would we have came here? We'll go as wild as we can get. Where's Xavier? Xavier and that how will be a nice combo. What is that sound? Bakudan? Bakudan? Okay, so apparently this hell has thumbs. Apparently the owl has thumbs. Good to know. I wasn't aware that when I went into biology class. Are we headed to the special sector again? I thought we were trying to go to the private sector. What? The Liam ring? What is that? Okay then. Who is this guy? Who is this black market dealer? Cause that wasn't no ordinary move. Well, hello, special sector. I wonder if he's been here before. He totally is the bad guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. I got this. Oh, Maxim. How does he know where all this hidden stuff is? Let's go! Let's follow him! What are we waiting for? Dude, he is definitely not no ordinary black market dealer. There is something going on with him. What is his real identity? Takes out the Lilium ring and places it on the altar. He then removes a ring marked with a blue lily off from his finger, placing it into a second slot on the altar. 
And a... What the heck? Where are we about to go? Where are we... What is happening right now? What is this place? A singular room? With a bunch of books? So even the hawk doesn't know that this exists. But he does somehow. Oi, answer a question. That's the Lilium Crest, the old symbol of the Kingdom of Glia. Then it stands to reason that the royal family once used that seal? No freaking way. The mark of ruling authority, the Great Seal of State? It's only supposed to be passed in succession from king to king, which means... What? What? Ain't no way. That's why he has this beautiful owl, because it's a royalty owl. Exactly. He's nothing more than a man tasked with a mission. But my mentor, the one who raised me, he served the royal family for generations. As he aged, I took the mantle. All I'm doing is fulfilling his majesty's final commands. What? That day, eight years ago, when the Kingdom of Glia fell, His Majesty gave me two orders while on his deathbed. Okay, the first was retrieving this, the Lilium Seal. The second was securing the safety of his daughter, which we have. His Majesty prioritized these two things over his very life. It was my obligation to comply. Oh, dang it, man. So the one who rescued Iris when she was little was you all along. Wow, he was the one who did it. I only planned to leave her with my mentor for a time, but once he saw the trauma on her face, he decided he would raise her himself. Old age finally did him in last year. That must be when Iris set off on her own for her whole revenge thing. Interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't even dignify that with a response. Yeah, okay. I see. Dude, I, I, I with this guy. I like him. I like him. Oh, it's the old guy. I don't even care about him. This is old geezer. What the heck is he about to do? Oh, yeah, over my dead body. You're gonna have to kill me first. Exactly. As the surviving remnants of the Glean Royal Army. What? You're telling me this regiment right here, this part of the Hieroglyph Knights, is a former Glean Royal Army and they just want vengeance for falling in battle? What? What? He knows his identity. Just how much do the knights know? I would like to know, actually. They know more about us than we know ourselves. I'm sure you must be worried about your precious friends and families, right, girls? Dude, look at this scumbag. Let's do it! I'm ready! Dude, at all, dude, at all. Can you be for a second a little bit like Credo? Can I control Credo instead? Why is this guy such a coward? What is his problems? All he ever wants to go do is go on his adventures, dilly daddle, just watch around, see the sceneries, and then dip and bounce. He never wants to do anything. He doesn't want to put in the work. He doesn't want that action. All right, he's just a freaking. Oh man, annoying. I hate controlling this guy sometimes. Whatever, I guess, sure. She can sense some manner of special fluid coating her their blades. 
Some kind of... Oh, it's poison. Doku? Dokka? Really? Dude, that is trash, man. That's trash. I wanted to cut the old man, old geezer down. What is that? That's garbage, bro. There's a lot of things in this game that I don't really enjoy. It's just minor tweaks and it would have been a lot better in my opinion. But I'm, I'm also, I've only played one yeast game, and that yeast game, I farmed and finished in five days so I could return it back to get all my money back. So I'm not that much of a, like, I'm not a stan of yeast. I'm, I'm way more of a stan of Tra Trails of Cold Steel and, like, Legend of Heroes than I am for yeast games. So maybe that's also why that I, I feel this way. But I, I feel like some of you guys watching also kind of consider that uh, yeast could use some improvements for sure. But one thing, Credo, I'm not Credo, Adon needs to speak more than once or twice, like... I'm sick of his two-word answers and all this, his cowardry. Why doesn't he ever seek smoke? He needs to take a book out of Credo's page. I mean, he needs to take a page out of Credo's book. That's totally backwards. He broke it? Makes sense. That was the mission. The mission was to break it. Yeah. Correct, yeah. I have no intention. Yeah, if you don't, if you have it, if you don't want to hand it over and you don't want to risk it, just destroy the thing. Exactly. Consider the future of his people and his daughter. No, that is a leader. What's the reward? Is he going to join the dandelion? No way. You're, that's my reward him coming to join the that's not cool man that's that's okay this is also trash are you kidding me give me an item fresh entertainment Gredo <laughs> just called this guy fresh entertainment that's hilarious Wow, he what wow, he joined the he joined the bar. A most favorable outcome. Oh, 10,000 gold? I would definitely take that. All right, y'all, we're going to end the video here. We found out what's going on with Felix and Carla. Felix is being accused of some nonsense, right? They just basically gave some whatever reason in order to put him away, in order to detain him, which that I find interesting. Why would they want to detain a, a bullfighter? So, let's see what that's about, especially someone that people know. You know what I mean? And then um, they also took away Carla, but her it makes a little bit more sense because they're accusing her of having a connection with the monstrums, which is facts, right? It's true. So what, I, what I'm curious to see is if Carla is actually being detained for that reason or is there something else? And on, also, what are the knights doing? What are they really after here? Because they apparently like they've got regiments that are former Glean Royal Armies that could just be out for vengeance because they lost in that battle. Shadowlord himself looks like he just wants pure revenge. Like he doesn't even think, it doesn't even appear like he cares about the people at all. So what is going on with them? And then now we got the Black Dealer Maxim on our crew. So in the next one, we'll go straight into the Grimwall Knox. We will go take that on. And then now uh, we'll go see. And then we'll go see about the situation here, about uh, trying to uh, rescue and save the, our two, I guess, family members. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.